Hello everybody, it is Badger Wild. We are back with a video on Friday. I am so sorry about Monday. <clears throat> I had this really good video planned out and nothing worked. So um, I finally, after multiple failures, just said uh, we're going to call this original idea for the project FUBAR and we're going to go with what works. So what works is this right here. Uh, and currently what we're doing is I decided I would do a little bit of a different video because there is this thing with ships. If any of y'all have ever messed around with ship classification, you'll know that some people come up and they go, Hey, what is, what is the difference between this ship and that ship? So I got to thinking, you know, I don't do, a lot of other people have done their spin on it. I'm going to give you mine. Uh, instead of doing this by length or by uh, what someone believes that a ship should do on classification, we're just kind of gonna kind of gonna describe it. I, I usually determine what my ships are, what the size is, and everything else. And I'm gonna explain that <coughs> uh, in here and explain how uh, I kind of run my, I guess my orgs ship doctrine basically or ship classification doctrine but first if you guys enjoy the video and you like what i'm doing here or you're new <clears throat> be sure to hit the like comment and subscribe if you are new and also remember we have a subscribe star which helps out the channel uh for a dollar a month you guys can throw some money my way and it helps out it helps it, it's it's extra cash that i can do for other things it can Get me root beer, get me Dr. Pepper, whatever it takes to get me to get these videos in and get them out. And as we get done with that, let's get started. So, what we're going to be working on or discussing right now is Corvettes. And uh, these are... I guess I could probably dictate a Corvette is the smallest, cheapest ship in the fleet... Uh, that is that is correct, but it is a bit of an oversimplification of what a Corvette is. A Corvette is basically the smallest patrol ship. or Well, it's the largest patrol ship and the smallest ship you can have. Everything else is kind of... Anything under that is kind of considered like a boat. Uh, unless you get to submarines. Submarines are also considered boats for some stupid reason. <laughs> they're, they're not considered ships. They're considered boats. I don't know why that is. Um, but a Corvette is basically the smallest or the smallest ship in the fleet usually, and it is usually the largest patrol craft in a fleet. Um, what does a Corvette do? Corvettes mostly, and this is something that, um, plays into science fiction also, which is also a little bit tidbit. A lot of your hero ships will be Corvettes. One of the main reasons for that is your heroes will be doing things in peacetime and wartime. And a Corvette is one of those ships that just doesn't get mothballed. Almost never will get mothballed. Because its value as a patrol ship is useful in both <clears throat> peacetime and wartime. So your ship is going to be you know, fairly small. They're fairly cheap to build, fairly cheap to maintain. So it's in a peacetime situation. It's not something you have to pour a whole bunch of money into. <clears throat> and it's a, it's also the ship that comes off as being the best stealth ships also in sci-fi. But like I said, usually these ships are fairly small. They do have a lot of point defense. This is something that is pretty decent. I would say your ships, a good Corvette, is going to have probably around 25, about probably like four sixths of their main armament is going to be point defense dedicated and the other 25 or the other two sixths is going to be whatever weapon you put on there. That's going to be a capital ship grade weapon. So you can see here with uh, the Sentinel class that I recently built a while back, we have a lot of point defense. We've got small guns on here to defend against larger, against boarding actions. Uh, we've got flat guns for fighters. We've got mini guns also for fighters. A mix of point defense guns here. We also have a couple of artillery turrets here to threaten or 
assault artillery guns to threaten another ship. In terms of IWL doctrine, or Iron Wolf Legion doctrine, because my faction is kind of a mercenary faction that just kind of, you know, does their own thing. <clears throat> the, a Corvette class is a is the smallest jump capable patrol ship that is in the IWL fleet. Uh, also, they are recognized by the minimum distance. This is about halfway of what you would expect a Corvette to be. A Corvette in the IWL can be anything between 30 and 40 blocks long doesn't matter about the height and they are only allowed to have one large main thruster they can have several smaller thrusters to back them up and augment the speed but there should be only one large thruster this is not a very big ship and so that tends to limit the corvettes to a certain size there's another corvette coming out which is going to be more of an expeditionary corvette uh the sentinel is more of a screening corvette it does have rocket launchers but normally this was just the first concept. Normally, if I do a machinima at some point in time, you'll see these things. They'll have more point defense and just a few missiles to harass things with. Over here, we got Mr. Venom, and uh, he's built a ship. I forgot what this thing was called. <laughs> Forgive me, Mr. Venom. But you can see the same concept coming from uh, Venom's ship here. He's got four point defense guns, two on top, two on bottom, and he's got two rocket launchers and that's about it there are no more extra rocket launchers to fire off this thing its rockets are its main anti-capital ship weapon because these ships are designed to be operated in a fleet but they're not there to actually attack they can do some damage if you don't know about how good corvettes can be the best corvette battle i would suggest is the glow worm uh, I believe it was either a frigate or a corvette. It may have qualified as a corvette. But if you want to know like what the mentality of a corvette should be, the glow worm is the quintessential battle. Uh, spoiler alert, all hands are lost, but they go out like badasses. <clears throat> uh, but like I said, you got with Venom's ship, you can see there's a comparable size here. He's probably a little bit bigger. and might just be the biggest corvette I have here on example. Uh, but like I said, doctrine between different... This is another thing about ship classification also. Doctrine on ships usually varies from uh, group to group. <clears throat> so what would be considered a corvette in some countries is usually considered a frigate. Uh, usually, like right now, I believe France has a corvette they have built that at its size and weight, the U.S. would consider it a type of frigate. Um... But like, what what can what else can you put on a a Corvette? You can also put a small hangar bay in there. You can have a uh, patrol, like small boarding craft and stuff like that that can be used to board other ships, gunships, things like that, um, drop ships. If you can build a Corvette, that'll fit a Pelican. I think I did this with a RWI entry in Captain Jack's um, frigate entry. I actually put like a small platform on the back, and that is something that's done with realistic ships i.e. that's what I originally wanted to do with the video. I wanted to have like video in the video showing like the actual helicopter pads and stuff that are on U.S. Corvettes. Uh, that didn't happen, unfortunately. I'm very sorry, everybody. <laughs> I'm not that good at editing. So usually I do these videos by the seat of my pants. I'm very sorry for that. But moving over, we've got another one that I consider a Corvette, and this is the Morgan class, which I, I love this in uh, The Expanse. I was going to put the Rasadani on here, but the Rasadani is considered a Corvette class frigate, which is kind of weird. The MCRN is not supposed to have any Corvettes at all. They're supposed to just have battleships and frigates and whatever else, but no Corvettes. But like I said, the, the role of a Corvette in a fleet is patrol. It is... And the thing you got to remember about a Corvette also is a Corvette is pretty much an underdog in a fleet, and it is also a bully to smaller craft. Uh, the Corvette, when it sees a smaller ship, uh, like what would normally be considered for piracy vessels, something small that would move in, uh, think Somali pirates pretty much. Usually the U.S. will send in a Corvette. If a destroyer is nearby, it'll do something about it. But most of the time, it'll be some type of Corvette running in there because Corvettes are fast. They have to be very quick anyway to get up and go, zip around. But looking at the Morgan class, you can see we've got two PDC guns. 
and placement is very key. I would suggest, I tell you what, we'll just do this real quick. Um, and we'll just grab the Rasadani real quick because one of the things Rasadani has, if you're going to build a Corvette and Space Engineers also, well, the Rasadani made it here anyway. You can see it's it's pretty similar in size, but one of the things about the Rasadani that a lot of people probably overlook about it is like the Morgan, it has a good PDC layout. So if you look here, it's got two PDC cannons that are staggered on the sides, both uh, port and starboard. And then on the dorsal and ventral sections of the ship, it's got two more auto cannons. This means that when this ship comes in, another thing about Corvettes and especially IWL Doctrine or uh, Iron Wolf Legion Doctrine, you'll notice about Iron Wolf Legion ships when it comes to the Corvettes, a lot of their firepower is forward centered so that they can put the maximum number because this is something that has to charge into a f just a squadron of ships you need to be able to put so much flack in the way of those ships to score as many hits as possible the um the morgan class can do this also it's got its guns oriented and even venom ship here if you look at the placement of the guns it can put all four of its pdc guns on target if it has to uh, it can get a pretty good amount of fire rate, usually on a downward slope. So it, it probably could do easily downward, straight out, probably not. But if this thing comes into a squadron of ships, it's going to be able to do good. The Sentinel will do good against fighters. The <clears throat> Morgan will be effective. The Rasadani, wildly effective because it's got so many PDC cannons all around it. Um, then we come down to like the armament of all these, like I said. The Sentinel and Mr. Venom's ship over here, his Corvette, I don't know the name of it, still haven't remembered it. <laughs> it has uh, some missile defense systems. I'd say probably you could get away with an, art with an assault cannon turret or maybe even an artillery cannon as long as it's fixed. But you see the uh, Morgan class here. It's got two small rocket pods in the front, direct line of fire. And then the Rasadani has four rocket pods here to deliver some damage. Like I said, I didn't put it in here because it is it is more of a frigate than it is a, in terms of its heavy firepower, it's got more missiles. I would consider the Rossi, Rossi to be more of a missile frigate if it were a ship built by the IWL. It'd be a missile frigate instead of a Corvette class frigate. I, it's, that's a weird, it, it's a weird classification, but I still love the ship and <laughs> it's, it's just a good looking ship when you get to checking it out and looking through how it's built and everything. The Expanse has some really good ships if you haven't watched that show. But anyway, like I said, that's kind of how a Corvette is met out here. It is a it is a patrol ship. To smaller vessels, it is a, a bully for all the other ships in a fleet, the ship ship class. It is the underdog. It will have the least amount of weapons. Now, these things can do point defense in like a fleet normally these ships are running around scouting because they are very quick they can get in and out of areas very quickly uh, also like I said they're usually very jump capable uh, you should have a jump capable Corvette it's got to be able to get in mess around get out these are usually these in frigates usually end up being the ones that are used as stealth ships however Star Wars did do a Super Star Destroyer at one point in time that was invisible and I cannot imagine the shock on people's face when they saw that thing just appear out of nowhere <laughs> I mean just just imagine uh, and it was it was basically a full it was pretty much a um, what was that an executor an executor class Super Star Destroyer like Darth Vader had only they coated it with some type of sensor absorbent material and the and gave it cloaking devices and that sucker could just come out of nowhere <laughs> it's like randy orton in space or something but anyway like i said um really these ships they can be stealth ships but the main concept of this is a very small sometimes cramped vessel uh cramped really makes them just better because Corvettes, if you ever look at them in movies or something, or you ever look through a ship, the Corvette is usually so cramped that the guys on the deck are usually wearing flak vests for protection. Uh, it's not like a battleship where everyone's sitting inside of an armored uh, helm and they're, they're not worried about getting blasted by shrapnel or stray rounds. Everyone on a Corvette, if you ever watch 
old war movies and stuff. The guys on the Corvettes and the frigates, usually they're wearing like bulletproof helmets and they've got like ballistic vests on and stuff. Big heavy gloves because the the fight, if they get into a fight with a ship that's bigger than them, they're, they're going to have casualties. So that's, that's also why uh, these ships are, you know, this is the type of ship classification. Now, if you guys like this video, this, I, and I need this right now, I need feedback on this video. I need to know you guys like it. Uh, or if you don't like it. If you don't like it, I will discontinue doing this and this will be the only video I cover. If you guys do like the concept of ship classifications and y'all want to see me do more of it and explain more of this, I'm more than willing to do it. Like I said, I, I no one has really explored the reasoning behind ships because usually a ship's classification is sometimes based on what it was originally intended. So... Like I said, Corvettes in an age of sail were like a patrol ship. They would be in there like an escort, and they were just a fast ship. They can move around, get some guns in position, and fire. And eventually they became like this constant wartime patrol craft. If you wanted to go out there and catch a pirate, you sent out a Corvette to go in and start harassing, possibly cut a mast down, wound the pirates a little bit, and then get so that the bigger guns could come in there, like a frigate or something, come in and do something. But, yeah, like I said, these are patrol ships. Treat them like that. They should be cheap. They should be easy to make, easy to repair. Um, and you probably won't, don't want to do anything real fancy with them. Usually, like, one good uh, hydrogen tank for your hydrogen engines is enough to run one of these types of ships. And they work very well. But, as usual, I would like to thank you guys for watching, coming to my little nook of the internet. I'm glad y'all came here. You could have went anywhere else, but y'all came to mine. And uh, y'all listen to me ramble for God knows how long this video is. <laughs> I haven't checked yet, and I'll know after I edit everything. But like I said, thank you all for coming. Y'all make this channel possible. If you enjoyed what you saw here, be sure to like, comment, subscribe if you're new to the channel. And uh, don't forget, we have a subscribe star in the description. You guys can go over there and donate $1 a month, and it helps out the channel. Uh, Buy is like... I, you, it, it can buy stuff it can also do like I, I also would like to get that to a point where it's like I can buy video games I would like to get the new armor core and do some playthroughs on that if y'all are interested in that one I am planning on getting it already I've got money set aside to get it if y'all want to see me do some playthroughs of that I played armor core when I was younger uh, I've been waiting for a good armor core and this one sounds like it's amazing I mean I, I, I'm kind of itching to get back into the AC pilot seat and tear some stuff up i want to know if nine ball is still there or not but anyway <clears throat> like i said if you guys enjoyed the video y'all know what to do like comment subscribe and as always as some asteroid begins to eclipse the ships that are here just remember everyone stay safe stay frosty i am badger wild and i am signing out